On Wednesday, April 19th, the 3-0 Hillers softball team took on 4-1 Milford in their home opener. In the bottom of the third, Katie Holly hit a two-RBI triple to score Emily Whalen and Lily Morningstar. That would make the score 2-1 to one at the time. Milford responded in a big way. They scored two runs in each of the fourth, fifth, and sixth and seventh innings including a two-run home run in the sixth inning by Emily Pierre Gustavo. Milford handed Hopkinton their first and only loss of the season so far as they took the game 9-4. Hillers baseball had their home opener on Thursday April 20th against Millis. Hopkinton started off the offense in the bottom of the first. One on, one out, Alex Reynolds at the plate. Leading off of second. And this is going to go between the shortstop and third baseman in left field. The throw in from left field to home plate is just off the mark. And the Hillers will bring in a run. Alex Reynolds takes off for second base as the throw got by the Millis catcher, John Manning. And Hopkinton scores the first run of the game, and they are in business. Then later in the inning, with two on and two outs, Dawson McMillan at the plate. This game had a 1 p.m. start, vacation week. It's nice early afternoon baseball. The lineup and the pitch is down to third base line. That's going to get through into left field. Runner being waved around third. Here comes Alex Reynolds, and he will score the second Hillers run. 2 0 Hopkinton. RBI single for Dawson McMillan. In the bottom of the third, Dawson McMillan struck again. McAvoy deals. And this is up the first base side. Got through the glove of the first baseman. Everybody's going to be safe, and a run will score. The hit made it 3 to nothing. Hillers. Dawson McMillan then went for the steal to second base. Strike, runner taking off from first, it throws high into center field, it goes, and here comes a blank, 4-0 Hillers. The run made it 4-0 Hillers, they never looked back as they took the game 7-2. Brendan Kelly got the W on the mound, Alex Reynolds was 3-3 three three with three runs, an RBI and a walk. Dawson McMillan went 2-3 for three with a pair of RBIs and a walk as the Hillers take game one on their home turf. On Monday, April 24th, the 1-2 and two Hillers baseball team hosted their second home game of the 2017 season as they took on the Holliston Panthers. Bottom of the first scoreless game, Ben McKenzie and Dawson McMillan on base after back-to-back -back walks. No outs, Alex Reynolds at the plate. This one is hit up the left side. That'll drop into left field. One run is in, a second run being waved around, and it's going to be 2-0 Hillers, a two-RBI single for Alex Reynolds. Starter Ben Dooley would be pulled after having control issues with the score still 2-0 Hillers. Ken Stoppa came in to take over, but the Hillers rally continued. They push Reynolds up the second. Chris Burdick hit a single. Push Reynolds up to third as this one gets by the catcher. A high pitch and one run is in for the Hillers. Everybody pushing up. Alex Reynolds scores on the wild pitch. Right up and the pitch. On the ground, left side, slow roller. Gloved in the grass, throw to first. They get one, but a run is in. And it's 4-0 Hillers. As Burdick comes around, so the sacrifice ground out there by Sosicki. Runners leading, and this is hit in the air to right field. That's going to get down and land in for a base hit. One run is in, a second run being waved around. It is 6 0 Hillers, a two RBI single from Dylan O'Leary. The Hillers plate six runs in the inning and total six runs for the game. That is all they would need, however, as they take down Holliston 6 2. Hopkinton improved to 2-2 two two on the young season while Halston fell to 1-5.